Hello friends, uh, today our trip to the volcano starts. Uh, in two hours we are driving to the volcano again. It will be trip number 11 for me. So, and my wife will join me. So we are going to do another volcano trip today. So uh, a lot of uh, interesting material is coming uh, very soon from the new trip, new updates. Uh, I wish you all the best. And I'm driving through Reykjavik. Let me show you uh, Reykjavik, Reykjavik city. I'm driving Miklabroid. You see lots of traffic uh, uh, to Reykjavik right now. Uh, people are driving to the city. I don't know why it's around three o'clock. But not so much traffic out of Reykjavik. Miklabroit is one of the major uh, highways here in Reykjavik that uh, goes uh, to the north of Iceland and also to the west and to the south and to the east. Uh, all the traffic goes by this highway. Weather conditions are really nice today. Great weather. Here you see the peninsula called Geldinganes, almost like Geldingadalur. Geldinganes Peninsula, that's where they walk out dogs. It's a dog peninsula. And now we are driving up uh, Artun Sprecka, uh, the hill of Artun. Uh, two petrol stations here on both sides of the highway. Really nice weather, it's real summer in Iceland, but trees are not yet green, not many trees green trees yet. Can you imagine I was the driver of yellow buses in Reykjavik for a few months, a uh, long time ago? <clears throat> it's a very hectic job, I mean, uh, you are supposed to have brakes, but you never have them because you're always late. Uh, so it's like a, a squirrel roll, you always on the, on the road. So because of the traffic, you're always uh, late at the bus stops, you know. Yeah. Your break uh, time uh, comes, uh, you are supposed to leave already. <laughs> That's funny, too. <laughs> and uh, here you see Usur, it's a company that makes. Uh, Artificial uh, feet and uh, hands for the handicapped people. And Noise Sirius is a chocolate factory that produces uh, Icelandic chocolate. So here we tend to the south, road to the south of Iceland. You see, it splits off to the south and to the east and that uh, uh, lane goes to the north of Iceland and to the west so now we tend to the south and to the east of Iceland because I drive to my hometown now and it's 50 kilometers to Thorlaxa from here Uh, I forgot the English name. Fix 
fish a bit because of that. So here is uh, one of the last roundabouts uh, before we exit Reykjavik. Forest here in Reykjavik, as you see, trees. So uh, Reykjavik uh, is not completely void of trees. There are many trees in Reykjavik. Here is a small forest, coniferous trees. Uh, they are not native to Iceland. They were brought to Iceland from Alaska. Coniferous trees, uh, hundred years ago, but now they are very much widespread. Uh, fir trees, spruce tree kinds of coniferous uh, species very much in Iceland now so this is the last roundabout of Reykjavik and then we enter uh, the exit highway that uh, will take us to Thorlaks eventually very often they close this road here as you see uh, when it's very bad weather in winter there are a couple of days when this highway is closed uh, due to the poor visibility in the highlands uh, there we have been already there you see red hills or red craters pseudo craters i, I visited that place already and uh, uh, you know that already it's next to Etniva Button Lake driving now uh, to the southeast from Reykjavik, southeast direction southeast Heidmer forest uh, is to the right it's the biggest forest uh, here in the southwest of Iceland visited it. If you watched my videos, uh, we already visited that forest and I even uh, made a footage there. And if you go back in my videos, you can see the forest of Reykjavik. Heitmörg.
with uh, genetic studies of Icelandic people which revealed that uh, uh, most of women in Iceland have uh, Celtic or Celtic uh, genes actually it means from Ireland and Scotland so and men have Scandinavian genes so I I Ireland Iceland is a mixed population of Irish men and Vikings women women are mainly of Irish origin most of women genetically speaking and uh, men are of uh, Viking descent from Norway mainly Norwegian men and Irish women that settled Iceland you can say that because they were coming through British Isles here they were first occupying Ireland you know in Ireland there was a Viking kingdom in Dublin and uh, even the Viking Museum in Dublin. So they were coming via via Ireland and Scotland here, and that's the reason. That road goes to the ski resort here to the right, uh, Blaufield Ski Resort. And so if you like skiing, mountain skiing, you can do it in Iceland. It's terrain in Iceland, you see not much trees here outside of Reykjavik, uh, it's just uh, barren terrain in the fields. Uh, that volcano is very interesting, hanging volcano. One day I will do a hike there and I will show you this uh, hanging volcano. Lots of geothermal uh, mud springs, uh, hot springs all around that mountain is covered with geothermal activity all around. It's very, very interesting area to visit, and it's also beautiful. It's like another world, really special terrain there. It's one of the most beautiful valleys in Iceland, uh, next to this mountain, and it, they are called Hengladalir. Or the valleys of uh, Hengit Volcano, Hengil of Darlin. And uh, I will visit them in the summer when it's green, it's really surrealistic terrain, beautiful uh, valleys. This Red River, Red River, can you imagine in Iceland we have Red Rivers? Here is a sign which welcomes us to Ulfus, Ulfus Municipality, that's uh, where I live. Municipality. The capital of Ulfus is Thorlakshop, next to the ocean. That's my hometown actually. So Ulfus is welcoming you here. Ulfus Municipality starts here. So goodbye to the capital area. We say here a goodbye to capital area of Reykjavik. Legendary Little Coffee Store or Little Coffee Shop Legendary. It's because it's in the middle of nowhere. Coffee shop in the middle of nowhere. You see? And uh, you can have a coffee here. It's all year around open. Next to the highway. Very interesting. You see, it's uh, very legendary because it even features in many Icelandic songs. We are driving to up uh, Droigarlíðar, this mountain here, this hill is called Droigarlíðar or ghost hills. Why they are called so I don't know, but uh, supposedly there are ghosts here because winds are very strong on this hill and cars are blowing off a road here very very often. Here to the side they are blowing off road. It's very strong wind here, usually in winter time. Here is a sign which uh, tells uh, the number of accidents uh, in Iceland. Um, this year, four people died on the roads in Iceland. It's a warning to drivers. They always up update that number. Uh, each time there is an accident, uh, so usually it's like 16 per year, 16 casualties. Uh, Actually, not so much compared to other countries. So it's pretty.
you're safe to drive in Iceland, I would say. Everybody. 